Well, it looks like Orion's shoulder is going to crash into a wall of dust, according to this article that was published on the 22nd of January 2013 on the Astro Watch website. And it goes on to say that multiple arcs are revealed around Beetlejuice, the nearest red supergiant star to Earth, in this new image from ESA's Herschel Space Observatory. And we can see these arcs that they're talking about here. And this is this wall of dust here that Betelgeuse and these arcs are due to collide with. So it goes on to say that the star and its arc-shaped shields could collide with an intriguing dusty wall in 5,000 years. Betelgeuse rides on the shoulder of the constellation Orion the Hunter. It can easily be seen with the naked eye in the northern hemisphere winter night sky as the orange-red star above and to the left of Orion's famous three-star belt, roughly 1,000 times the diameter of our sun and shining 100,000 times more brightly. Betelgeuse's impressive statistics come with a cost, for this star is likely on its way to a spectacular supernova explosion, having already swelled into a red supergiant and shed a significant fraction of its outer layers. Now, unfortunately, when it comes to these types of articles, we don't get a lot of good information. So we do see that they are observing changes within Betelgeuse, but we really don't see what changes they are actually observing. And are these changes happening more frequently? What else are they observing? They really just give us the most minimal amount of information that they can get away with. But from what I can take from this article, it does seem that Betelgeuse is definitely experiencing massive changes. And this is nothing to do with Betelgeuse going supernova because if we are to take that information, then we are actually using the flawed model, which is the gravity-driven Big Bang model. If we're using the electric universe model, which is the correct model, we can understand that what's happening is Betelgeuse is probably interacting with the region of the cosmos that we are now entering into. It may also be reacting to outbursts that are coming from the galactic center and I have actually done videos in regards to energy that is now emanating from Sagittarius A which is right near the galactic core. So what we are seeing is everything within our galaxy changing and reacting to the cosmos, its environment. And we're also seeing that within our solar system because it's not only our planet that is experiencing these massive changes, we're also seeing it on other planets and our own sun. And so this is why we need to be careful when we take this information from these agencies because they really are limiting what they give us and they're not really telling us a lot at all. So what I can take from this is the amount of articles I see about Betelgeuse and I've also seen these articles on the lame stream means that they are expecting something to happen. So obviously these changes are quite dramatic. Anyway, I won't read the rest of the article because it is all based on flat earth science but I will post it underneath for you to have a look at for yourself. And as always, peace out.